right guys two words of advice if you ever have to do this one use your body weight as much as you can because your arms get tired i've been at this for probably about five days sanding all the seams prepping everything for glass um yeah, my arms are done uh so yeah definitely use body weight where you can and two use sandpaper like you ain't paying for it because fresh sandpaper cuts so much cleaner faster um all i'm really doing is just it's just getting the any sheen off I'm, I'm just trying to scuff it up basically giving us some to it something to bite to when we fiberglass the whole bottom section of this is going to get glassed uh tomorrow so uh if you notice we, we pulled the peel ply off of this side because that fiberglass actually probably gonna come down to about here you know all the way down so i just want to make sure we have more than enough prep for glass and uh yeah so those are my two tips of the day Hold on. <laughs> so what just happened? <laughs> What's the odds that I literally just threw the stool up on top of the bridge deck and this laser is perfect with the design waterline. Absolutely perfect. It, couldn't ask for <laughs> couldn't ask for a better shot all the way around. Legitimately exactly where we oh, need it to be. Geez. All right. All right, so uh basically what we're gonna do is we have measurements for the design waterline from the top or the bottom of the swim deck. Uh, it was like 450 millimeters, something like that, give or take, uh, up to the design waterline. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to shoot level lines all the way around. Uh, got a transit set up here, uh, laser level, same difference. And uh, we're just going to shoot the inside of the hulls right now. And then I'll move the, the transit out to the outside, shoot the outside of the hulls. And that'll give us where the boat should sit in the water, theoretically. Um, we did add two feet and hopefully the water lines haven't changed any. Um, but we're kind of laying it now. Setting up to fiberglass the two layers on the bottom of the hulls. The hulls. And where is it going to go to? Past the, the... Yeah, it's going to come down just below the, the strakes all the way around. 400? 400 millimeters. millimeters. Good job. Yes. I all paid right. attention. Was it 400 or 100? Oh, great. It was 100. 100 millimeters below. <laughs> It, it was 100 because it's four inches. It's Sunday morning and yeah, it's early. Yeah. All right, so if it'll come down about four inches below the uh, That's what I was the thinking. water line. 100 millimeters. Yeah, and then on the ends here, we're gonna try to bring it down below this strake all the way to the bow. But first, we are filling in wherever it needs to be filled in. Yeah, we're gonna fill in all the low spots that are uh, still here on these any any joints. We've already filled everything, so everything's bridged and good to go. So we're gonna pull the glass, we'll roll it all up neatly, start filling joints, and then once that's done, we'll start glassing. And uh, we'll go wet on tacky, probably. We'll let the first layer set up, we'll work on the second hull, and then hopefully we, by the time we're done the second hull, we can switch back to the first, and then kind of just jump back and forth and get this done, all done in a day. Two layers of glass, and... That should be it. 
Should but be it. If we have time, we'll tape over. If we, yeah, if we have time, all the rest of the joints down here will have to get taped. These, it's really just these four joints. And then there's additional layers that actually go on the strakes and on the, the, the chine of the bottom of the hull, the keel, I guess you'd call it. Uh, anything else? Does anyone else think it's weird that the tape goes on after the big sheets of fiberglass? Because I think it's weird. Uh, I, I, they said, I messaged him. He said it didn't matter which way it went. Okay. It, it's not really critical um, in the plans it calls for the full layers of glass first and then the tape on top. And I think that's more for uh, trailering and beaching. Okay. Right, which would make sense because if you damage that layer of fiberglass, it's only a four or six inch wide tape. Not, it's not the full sheet, if that makes sense. Huh. Right. So if yeah. you think of it like that, maybe that's what they're thinking. Got it. Andy at Bulwark's today, he actually did a video a few months back about it. And uh, some people say go largest to smallest and some people go smallest to biggest. And even he said it's not super critical. Um, it's all on how you, you perceive what you're doing basically okay. so let's do it let's do it This is my water line right here. All right, I uh, measured down about 100 millimeters or four inches, give or take. And I made another mark and that's what I'm gonna run my fiberglass at. Uh, it calls for uh, one layer at 50 millimeters, one layer, layer at 100. I'm just gonna go 100 with both, uh, just for peace of mind. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything to have more. Um, the rolls we're using are 50 inches wide, so it actually comes down pretty far on the sides here. And uh, it says just use full width, and I'm just gonna use the full width and let it hang, and we'll, uh, we'll fare the joint later where the uh, seams are. So that should be good. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim the front. So I had the center of the glass on the ridge of the hull here, or the, the keel, I guess you call it. And uh, so I centered the glass just so there's no wrinkles in the side. So when we lay this down and try to fiberglass it, it's a lot easier to get it to lay down properly. Um, so what I'll do is I'll trim all of this slack off here. Okay, so what we did here is we just marked the center of the hulls on the fiberglass, the dry fiberglass. Uh, after we trim this front section out here, we will roll it up and that'll give us a, uh, basically an alignment mark to go by as we're uh, unrolling the glass later. And we've done both hulls because, you know, we're fools and we're building a catamaran. <laughs> Any other comments? No. <laughs> <laughs> Today we are using total boat. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll probably use all of this today. Yep, this is a four gallon kit. It's uh, four gallons of resin, two gallons of hardener, so it's six gallons totally mixed. And we'll probably end up using just about all of this today. Um, total boat two to one. Uh, we're using the slow hardener. It's warm enough today where we can get away with it. Mm. And uh, yeah, we'll probably have half hour, 45 minutes working time, give or take. Um, nothing we haven't done before. Yeah, nothing we haven't done, but uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, we're also using 12 ounce glass, or f I think it's, it equates to 450 grams uh, by axial cloth. Um, it saturates pretty good. Yeah, it saturates pretty decent. And we're not doing bare foam, so it shouldn't absorb. It should just kind of bond to the next layer down. Um, so maybe we won't use all six gallons. Who knows? Yeah, maybe not. Hopefully not, but you never know. Well, first we need to fill too. All right. Right? Oh. So total boat two to one. Uh, if you guys go on totalboat.com, use code Dauntless, and uh, you'll get 15% off mm -hmm. on your first order. Yep. Uh, it's a one-time deal, I believe. Uh, yeah, check them out.
we tried this second layer on the first hole to unroll the dry fabric on top of what was there and we tried to do sections right yep. and your thoughts on that i think it worked out better time wise yeah because we were able to do two or three feet at a time but we made the mistake of using rollers which ended up taking longer i think yeah more. we were trying to use foam rollers and it resin. uh yeah it seemed like we used we used an extra quart of resin to saturate i mean it is a big area so a quart it kind of goes hair there and whatever drips out obviously it was less stressful <laughs> way less stressful yeah but it uh, took longer this afternoon the camera died because it was so hot in here it was about but, 95 uh, probably yeah there. by the time we got down to the uh the end here the, that resin was kicking and uh we were pretty much out of time we, we had to do what we did and it, from there well you know it looked good though yeah it looked good it just it really definitely uh a lot more stressful first time around yeah it was stressful so. it was hot this way it worked a lot yeah it seemed to work a lot better, better and as it. you can see you made a mess yeah i made a mess so now i'm gonna all the shiny stuff you see here all has to get sanded again uh it goes another day but uh, for now like i said we got two layers on the bottom of the hole i think it came out pretty damn good uh, a couple little spots i may have to touch up after uh, <laughs> and what are we doing today honey we're doing the other hole we're setting up to fill all the cracks and then we are going to lay the cloth over and wet it out and be done with that thing so we're gonna put the two additional <laughs> full layers of fiberglass on the bottom of the other hull yeah i mean yeah yeah, yeah just, we're doing that. Just a little more descriptive. But we explained that on the yeah. other one. Well, so. I know, but you never know. Maybe the other one didn't come out good. <laughs> Can you do a better clip for this one? You just did it. That's it. That's all you're getting. Uh. So, this hole is done. I have uh, blue tape marking some bad spots I gotta address. I'll take care of that later. And then this hole here is the one we're gonna do today. We will fill in fiberglass just like that one. All right, so what do you think the best method is to uh, do it this time? Obviously, we did two methods, two different methods last time. First one was to put the cloth down. Yeah. Uh, sorry, wet out underneath the cloth, put the cloth down, and then saturate the whole thing. And the second session last time, we did sections of cloth. It's easier to do that with the second cloth, though, only because we have to fill we have all to the fill. little gaps underneath and the holes. And if we lay the cloth down over that, it's going to stick. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to tackle it, like, all at once. <laughs> all at once. So we're going to try to wet out the whole surface again. And lay it down. Lay it down <laughs> and then go and then, back and saturate. Yep. All right. As much as that sucks. Sounds like a plan. While well, Cassie's over here hard at work. Oh, yeah. I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. She's prepping everything. She's doing Cheers. a fine job. Cheers. <laughs>
this ladder, ladder is covered. That's where, that's where that extra quarter resin went, I'm just saying. Yeah, right there. <laughs>